the UK terror threat has been raised to critical in the most recent development following the attack at Parsons Green tube station where 30 people were injured. The raising of the threat level means another attack could be imminent and we talked to Malaysians living in London for their views on the situation. Uh, we never expect this to come so early when we are first here. Uh, we believe that London is the most safest city, the safest city in the world so I think to, have, to see this coming is something unprecedented. Uh, my first thought was to really find out where it was to make sure that um, I wasn't near the attack and make sure that I wasn't headed to the direction. But of course that was very situational. Um, it can happen anywhere at any time. But that was my first move. Quite a lot of my family and friends like um, from Malaysia, they asked me like, how am I doing over here? Am I safe? Which I really appreciate. But that shows like, how much like um, it's such a, a big issue for me and uh, for them as well because like, we are far from each other. Will you be avoiding any particular public transport after this incident? No, definitely no. I think I have full confidence with London's public transport and the safety. Uh, but I would love to hear more from the mayor and also from the police about this incident. What are the measures should be taken by us, the citizens or the Londoners, uh, with respect to our travelling on daily basis using the public transport? The rush hour explosion at 8.20am on Friday has been classified as a terrorist attack by UK security forces, shortly after the so-called Islamic State or Daesh took credit for the strike. While it has been confirmed that an improvised explosive device was set off, security forces revealed that the IED did not fully detonate. Meanwhile, an 18-year-old man has been arrested in connection with the attack. Most victims brought to hospital suffered from flash burns and are not believed to be in any life-threatening condition. The last time the threat level has been this high was during the Manchester bombing in May but was reduced three days later. The affected tube stations have since been opened and the UK government stepped up security around the city. As of now, the rest of London appears to be continuing with their daily routines. The Malaysians as well are keeping close watch on developments but otherwise carrying on as normal. This is Dina Murad reporting for The Star TV.